Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be providing a long-term market analysis update for Filecoin. We're going to talk about some key areas of support further down from here to watch out for. We're going to talk about the file Bitcoin ratio and my general longer-term takeaways with this altcoin. So if you guys enjoy the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, by the way, I will leave a link to my Twitter page in the description below. Feel free to go ahead and check that out. I am fairly active over there as well. So Filecoin over the last few weeks has started to break down below the support that we had around $5. And if I zoom into where we are today, this was the level in which Filecoin was holding on the weekly chart ever since we had that first drop back here in June. So you can see that Filecoin on the weekly had all of these candles coming down to this region, bouncing off of it, demand continued to come in at this zone. And then on the week of November 7th, we had that drop down below, breaking below the support when the rest of the market basically had the same move. Bitcoin made lower lows and started to form a 10% a correction from its previous low around $17,500. So it seems that Filecoin has just followed what the rest of the market has been doing and it's started to break support as a result. And we've also had a rejection off of this downward sloping trend line. You can see that is where all of the lower highs have been forming off of. We had this move right here in September of 2021 to form the trend line and then a rejection right here in March, another rejection right here in August. And then again, just a few weeks ago, we came right up to that level, rejected off of it, and now we're having that follow through to the downside. So at this point, I'm really gonna be focusing on this next longer term zone of support I have marked out in green, ranging from 2.6 to $2.9. And the reason this is going to be strong support is because if we were to zoom out here, going all the way back here to the previous market cycle, you can see this was a very strong level of support in which Filecoin ultimately started to form this longer term base. So we had all of these candles throughout December of 2018 and then January, February, and March of 2019. So eventually we started to bounce off this zone as support. We made this run up all the way up to $10, came back down, retested it in September, and then another retest right here in March of 2020. So this is where Filecoin had three separate retests of support Buyers started to step in at this zone, and this was the longer term all-time low where the last bear market formed a bottom off of. So that's a very significant level I would watch out to if we do have some further fall through on this rejection that we've seen off of this down sloping trend line. Another level that we've actually rejected off of is these two moving averages, the SMA20 and the EMA21. So I'm just going to remove all of these drawings just to get a little bit clearer view of these two moving averages and how they have been very strong resistance throughout this entire bear market. So you can see all the way going back here to September of 2021, Filecoin first started to lose these moving averages as support. We broke down from here and then we had a move forming lower lows. And then eventually on that lower high that we had back here in March, we came right back up into this level, rejected off of it and then continued down forming lower lows. And then we also had a rejection right here in August. And then just a few weeks ago on the week of October 31st, we did have yet another rejection off these moving averages coming up right into this band of resistance. And again, we have started to break down. We've lost the support and now we're forming lower lows, similar to how we did on the last three previous attempts. So at this point, I would really say there is a likely scenario that we do have a move a further leg down into this longer term zone of support because we've seen this pattern play out time and time again. And that pattern is again coming up into this band of resistance. And then from that point, proceeding to just drop down further from there over the next few months. So this rejection that we had right here in October of 2021 led Filecoin down another 76% in just the following 22 weeks. And then again, if we go here to this rejection right here in March, that rejection took us down about 82% in just the following 11 weeks. So at this point, I really wouldn't say that it's unlikely or unrealistic that we do have, say, a 50% correction into this longer term zone of support. Just because we've seen that pattern happen so many times again, we've lost the support already, we've broken down, and also because the 2018 and 2019 cycle lows just seem like a magnet for price, where that is definitely going to be a longer term area of interest for Filecoin, especially considering how that was the big base that we formed as support again going back to the previous cycle. So lastly, I do want to talk about the file Bitcoin ratio. And with this chart, really not much has changed over the last few months. If you've seen the previous Filecoin videos, we discussed this longer term zone I have marked out from 38,000 to 42,000 Satoshis. That's the level in red. And this was a level of support 
that held for Filecoin on the Bitcoin ratio throughout 2019 and 2020. This was the all-time low from the previous cycle, and we have broken back below that, and we got that retest of resistance right here in August. So until Filecoin can reclaim this level, which would look something like this, where it gets back above this and then has a sustainable move holding this as support. Until something like this can happen, there really isn't much going on with this pair. I would not expect Filecoin to outperform Bitcoin at all if we are unable to reclaim this longer term zone of support. And the reason is because again, we have formed all time lows. There's not much support further down from here. And that underperformance with respect to Bitcoin can be very detrimental to Filecoin because that would lead it to underperform Bitcoin, a lot of relative weakness, and it would present a very high opportunity cost. I hope you guys did enjoy the content and the analysis. By the way, make sure to check out my Twitter page. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.